Unit 3, Finances, Section 3.7, Change in Earnings. As you work, hopefully the amount of money you make is going to change. The longer you work at a job, the more you make. As you continue, you should be getting raises or moving to newer, higher paying jobs. If you're not, either you're in the wrong job or you're not doing a very good job. However, sometimes you might have to take a pay cut in order for an employer to, met, to meet expenses or you might switch to moving to working part time. Understanding the math behind how your pay is going to change is important. And that's what this section is about. Let's start with this first example. So a plumber was earning $720 per week. Last week, she received a 12% raise. Now for the record, a 12% raise is a pretty big raise. What is the dollar value of that raise? Since this is a percent question, we're going to use that proportion we've always been using. If we look at our question and find the important pieces, here she is earning $720 a week. That's the whole. She received a 12% raise. That's the percent. The question asks, what is the dollar value of the raise? Well, that, that right there is the part. Let's put our numbers in and solve this proportion. And the part is the piece I don't know. Let's cross multiply. Divide both sides by 100. X equals $86.40. That plumber is going to get paid an extra $86.40 every week. Part B asks, what is her new weekly wage? We just take the original wage and add on the raise. Her new wage ends up being $806.40. Part C asks, could have we gone straight to her new wage in only one calculation instead of doing it in two steps, instead of figuring out the raise and then adding it to the original? Well, there is. Once again, let's start with that proportion. The way to look at this is her new wage is her old wage plus her raise. Now, before we put any dollars in it, let's look at it as a percent. So her raise was 12%. Now, if I were to put a percent in her old wage, well, it's all of it. So her old wage would be just like 100%. If I add those two together, her new wage is actually 112% of her old wage. All I have to do for that percent is take 100 and add in the raise. Let's redo this calculation, working with 112% instead of just 12%. Now, because our percent is over 100, our part is going to be greater than the original. It should go up. Cross multiply. Let's divide both sides by 100. Her new wage is $806.40. Exactly the same as we got the last time, but we did it in one step. Because it's 112% piece, you should be able to do in your head. Next question. A waiter earns $8.35 per hour. The boss gives the waiter a raise of 60 cents an hour. What is the percent increase of the raise? Start with our proportion, because once again, this is a percent question. I've got two numbers here, I've got 8.35 an hour, and I've got a raise of 60 cents an hour. If I label what those parts are, this 8.35, that's the whole, that's her original wage. This raise, well, that's the part. And it's asking me to solve for the percent increase of the raise. Let's put our numbers in. Instead of that percent, I'm going to put an X in and cross multiply. Divides both sides by $8.35. That waiter earned a 7.2% raise. Not a bad little raise. Moving on. Bill is working at a warehouse making $10.25 per hour. His boss decided to increase his hourly rate to $10.75 an hour. What's the dollar value of his raise? Well, that one is a simple subtracting question. His new wage is $10.75 an hour. Subtract off his old wage, which is $10.25 an hour. And he got a raise of $0.50 cents an hour. So what percent increase is that raise? It's a percent question, so back to our proportion. Now this is an important note. The percent increase is not based on what his new wage is. It's based upon what his original wage was. So the whole is the original wage. Let's cross multiply. Let's swap out that percent for an X because that's what I'm trying to solve for. And then let's cross multiply. Divide both sides by 10.25. 
Bill got a 4.9% raise. 